all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a specific reading just for the single ladies. Okay, so I do have some songs that I channeled. Um, I decided to do, well, and then a movie as well, but I decided to do a reading um, specifically just for the single ladies that um, are always a bridesmaid and never a bride. So welcome, welcome ladies, welcome. So I decided to, um, like I said, I listened to some songs and I kind of channeled some, some stuff, some messages. Um, a lot of it is Rihanna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> love Riri. She's one of my favorites. Um, and then we have uh, My Best Friend's Wedding uh, was a movie that I channeled. Um, I just, I love that movie. It cracks me up. Um, so uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a reading pull cards for you and your situation where you're kind of at uh, your energy. We'll have timestamps below. So water, fire, air, and earth. Um, so check for that if you want to just jump to them um, and then we're going to do your person and then we're also going to do a what is this <laughs> sacred forest oracle so um, what I'm going to do is we'll do uh, like I said we'll do one for each um, each element um, for the single ladies and um, oh and then the oracle of ascendance what I did is I just kept the signs and I kept the elements I kept like earth, the moon, um, infinity, a couple other cards that we can get like messages from. Um, and then, uh, but like I kept out the spheres and I kept out the planets. Um, and then that way um, we can kind of get an idea of who's coming at you, who your new person is gonna be. Oh, and chakras, I also kept those too. So we know what you need to balance, so. Okay, all right, water signs, water signs. High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Oh, two swords in the middle. Um, I feel like you might be in the middle of making a decision between possibly two or more um, options. Um, if you are kind of, oh, Sam just split it again. Um, if you're kind of in this situation where you're not quite sure which direction to go, um, you know, I think everybody is kind of in a position where they're going towards new love. You know what I mean? Everybody wants brand new experiences, brand new memories, brand new everything. And so um, when it comes to the single ladies out there, um, I feel like there's a lot of women that are kind of, oh, see, King of Cups, oh, girl. Um, I feel like a lot of women are kind of up in their emotions, especially as a Cancer Pisces uh, Scorpio, because you tend to pour your whole heart into a relationship. And so when you wear your heart on your sleeve like that, um, a lot of the time you tend to get heartbroken because they don't love you as much as you love them. And so that's why we're going to do this read. Um, I feel like we're kind of in this whole entire energy shift. And so if you are single um, and you're looking for love, um, I feel like this is the reading for you. So, okay. All right, water signs. So we do have Cancer, uh, I mean, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups for um, a gentleman that just popped out. Um, so you might have or were dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio from your past that you have some love with. With the Two of Swords, I'm kind of, kind of getting you might have an option between a new love and an old love. Um, but like I said, I feel like a lot of people are wanting to have that new experience and that new life that, you know, anyway, you know, you want to be a bride. You're tired of being a bridesmaid. <laughs> so, um, not that it isn't fun, ladies. Like, I totally get it. Um, but, you know, it's our time. Oh, Queen of Cups, ladies, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We are on the table, literally. We're on the table. Um change. I feel two pentacles. So I definitely feel like you are possibly juggling the thought of whether or not to be single or not. I think that's kind of where you're at at this point. And I think right now you're, you are single, obviously. Um, but you're, 
you have an option. You have an option in love. And I feel like you may possibly be kind of in this self-sufficient, like, you know, I'm sexy, I'm single, I'm successful, like, you know, you got it going on. You know, you're smelling good, you're looking good, you're feeling good. Like, this is a whole entire vibe, you know what I mean? Um, especially if you're an independent, you know, woman who knows what she wants. Like, you know your worth, and a lot of the time that's why a water sign is single. Because you've gone through so many different emotional intruder <laughs> intruder <laughs> um you've gone through so many different emotional um you know relationships that it's just been like a whole entire rat race trying to get to the end where you got you know the grand prize you know the the ultimate wish fulfillment your true love like the person you're supposed to be with so Okay, so I feel like you are definitely, like I said, as a single um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I definitely feel like you are in this position where you're juggling um, whether or not you even want to have a relationship. Almost, almost kind of like, almost kind of like, like I said, like you do have options. You could be like, okay, yeah, let's be together. But you have this like drive to kind of, you know, want to do it on your own. And so I feel like you're waiting for that perfect person. I feel like you know when it's going to be that moment. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be between the both of you. Like you will know. And I feel like that person will express their feelings just as much as you do. Like especially as a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you know, you're looking for that emotional fulfillment. I think that's one of the number one things that we look for in a relationship because we want somebody who's going to pour as much emotion and love into the day-to-day -day just as much as we do. And so when you are looking for that, like you want equal give and take, you want equal, you know, reciprocity, you want that spiritual connection, you know, you want that soul, that soul connection, you know what I mean? Okay. You are the empress. You are the empress. You are, you're single. Like I said, you're successful. Um, the empress is a card of like birthing something. Um, so I don't think, because you are single, I don't think you are pregnant, but I think you are in the process of birthing a brand new cycle. You're like on a brand new unicycle, you know, and you're on by yourself. You know what I mean? You're ready to go forward towards brand new opportunities, brand new, like people, places, things, like the whole entire nutshell. You're, you're ready for new, brand new beginnings, you know? And as the Queen of Cups and the Empress on the table tells me you're definitely in your power. You know, you're a very strong, independent woman, you know, two of pentacles. I think you are up in your head about whether or not you should stay single and whether or not you should commit to possibly, you know, a few of your options that you have, <laughs> you know, and I feel like at this point you may be thinking you might want to just stay single. You know what I mean? Because in all of these cars, there's only one person. You know what I mean? From day to night, it is just you. And then it's just you juggling the thought of whether or not you want to be just you. <laughs> so I feel like right now you're just kind of staying single until you know that you have that connection with somebody that is willing to put in as much effort and, you know, communication as what you would. You know what I mean? All right, girl. Okay. That's fabulous. I'm not going to lie. That is fabulous. Yeah. See, oh, I just, okay, I just, oh, and death and rebirth. So I definitely feel like you have, um, I saw a bunch of fire just now. Um, so you might have fire in your chart. Um, you could have a fire sign coming at you, but we're going to find out. Um, but I do believe that, like I said, you are, you know, you are in the process of growing something abundant for yourself. And I feel like you are pouring self-love into this time where it kind of feels like a void Instead of leaving a void, you're turning it into self-care mode. And I feel like with all the self-care, you know, you might be kind of happy that it's just you because you're able to enjoy your own company at this point. Like 
you've gone through so much heartbreak that, you know, you kind of like it. You kind of like the ambiance of being by yourself. You know what I mean? Definitely birth. Um, I feel like you definitely want, you know, you've been through so much transformation. You are a phoenix rising. You know what I mean? Like you've been through some ish girl. And, um, so I, I definitely feel like you are in this, you know, passion and desire for your future and what is to come. You know, you're not stressed about the past and you're not stressed about the future. You're really enjoying the moment as it comes and you're really kind of going with the flow, really very water energy. You know what I mean? And, um, I think you're doing a great job doing it. <laughs> so keep it up. Keep it up. Water signs. Water. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle these. Um, like I said, I did pull the chakras. I pulled like moon, earth, you know, stuff like that, even infinity. And then I pulled signs and then elements. So we're going to shake it, shake it, shake it up. We're going to shake it up and then see um who's coming at ya who's coming at ya and then we'll get some sacred forest oh ladies 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 always a bridesmaid never a bride i know one day one day it'll be our turn i'm a cancer so Cancer sun anyway. <laughs> so I understand that. I get you. I get what you're trying to what you're trying to throw down. Okay. That was horrible. It's so tiny. <laughs> Let me do it again. Okay. Alright, one time. One time. Water energy. Oh, the moon. You ran by the moon. Possibly you could be a Pisces. Um, you could have a Pisces coming at you um, just instantly. I mean, they say the moon is like Taurus too. So you possibly could have a Taurus come at you. But first, right thing, right off the bat, I feel like you have a Pisces. A Pisces cup of sea, water element. You possibly, oh, Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So maybe an air sign, maybe air and water. Some Somebody that you don't know. It's not going to be somebody that you have met before. So the moon, it's going to be revealed. Um, Gemini and water. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then Gemini. So they have Gemini in their chart and they have water in their chart. But it will be revealed soon. I feel like by the next... I, I want to say within the next two new moons. So within the next six weeks, roughly six to eight weeks, you will find out. You will find out water signs. And it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be somebody who's going to be just as emotional as you are, but they're going to be a little guarded because of course they're a man. So they're holding it back. But once they realize that you're on the same page, I feel like you are going to be like two peas in a pod. Like it's almost like it is your forever soulmate because they've been looking for the emotional fulfillment that you've been looking for. So it's like you guys have been wishing for each other, you know? So, all right. What a sign. Water, water, water. That was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Let's just kind of. Mix these for a second. The next one. Okay. okay, let's get some sacred forest oracle. Water signs, water signs. Sacred forest oracle. Single ladies, all the single ladies. <laughs> You get it, how you understand what I'm going through, ladies. It's like a whole entire thing. Oh, oh no, we'll keep those. We have, we have patience at the bottom of the deck. So it's coming. Your love is coming. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? We have 
happiness, a bluebird spirit. We have letting go, um, spirit guardian of autumn. So I feel like, especially right now that it is the time of autumn and the leaves are changing, I feel like there is, you know, a change in the air, you know, a change in the wind, you know what I mean? A wind of change is here. <laughs> And I feel like you are letting go of anything that does not serve you. And I feel like you're letting go of past heartbreak. You're letting go of um, past loves that, you know, you thought were going to work out and didn't. You know what I mean? Because you wish them well and you want them to be happy. But you also need to be happy too. And so I think that's why you're letting go, um, you know, and you're... You have love for the people that you've gone through relationships with, but I feel like, you know, you are letting go and I feel like you are kind of in this, well, I mean, this, okay, so this one is, um, refuge. So, and then you, what is it? Enchanted Fern Grotto. So I definitely feel like you are taking time to kind of still be single. You know what I mean? Like you're letting go, you're kind of on your own. You're kind of happy being by yourself, you know, miracles. You're waiting for that miracle connection. You're waiting for that, that one person that is going to literally, you know, I don't know. I kind of feel like you, it might, I don't know. I'm getting Sagittarius because we saw all that fire, um, possibly Leo Sagittarius and I feel like, like, it, I mean, it was water, water, air. I feel like you know this person. I feel like you know this person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you guys were friends and you guys like hung out. Maybe you guys were in relationships when you met. And then now that it's been like time or whatever, like you guys are both single. So you're going to come together. I'm thinking you change your freedom you finally let go so you have freedom to believe in miracles and happiness again you took you took that time to heal and go through that change that transformation that you know rising from the fire like literally you took the time to be able to heal yourself so that you knew what you were you were worth and you let go of the past loves that, you know, moved on and you have this freedom and this kind of this like free spirit, almost like this wild, like aura about you, you know what I mean? And so I feel like you're, because you believe in happiness and miracles, I feel like the person coming towards you is exactly like that. They believe in miracles and because they've seen them happen. And I feel like you're the same exact way. I feel like you've seen miracles happen in your lifetime. You believe in the divine. Like, that's why you're here. Like, the whole shebang. I feel like you're wanting that equal spiritual connection. And I feel like you are about to get it. You're about to get the miracle that you wished for. And it's your happiness. So, all right. Water signs. I like it. That was good. Okay. So, we're going to close it up and close it up. And then we'll do lots of water. We'll do water, fire, air, and then earth. Water, fire, air, earth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stillness. All right, water, if you're still here, the stillness. That was good. That was good. Okay, so let's do. Or oh, didn't read from the book. I guess we didn't really need to. Okay. All right, so let's do water, air. I don't know what I say. Water, fire. Okay, so fire. Fire is next. Okay, so fire signs. Fire signs. Fire signs. 
fire signs. I flew over. Okay. <laughs> All right, fire signs. Welcome. Aries Leo Sag. Um, we've just got been doing water. Um, this is for the single ladies. <laughs> All the single ladies out there. So um, all you fire signs, I feel like you, um, you know, you've got this, you have this whole entire different kind of vibe. Like you are like almost like your full spotlight. I feel like as a Leo, Aries or Sag, single lady, you know, you work in the public eye, you work extremely hard. I feel like you are um, constantly needing to like help people. I feel like you like you work in a big corporation or a big business. I feel like um you're one of the head honchos. I kind of am getting something. Something. Like you're you're high ranking, you know, for I don't know, that's what I'm getting. Um you have this like this drive and this passion, you know, when it comes to your work and your occupation. Yeah, see? Princess of Wands and Prince of Pentacles. You're very grounded when it comes to your stability, and I feel like you have passion and drive for your, um, you know, what you do on on your day to day. Your your work is your life, and I think that could be possibly why you are single, Miss Ma'am. Um, I feel like because you are so focused on your pentacles, you could have Earth in your chart, maybe in you know can um, Cancer, I mean uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. In your moon is what I'm getting, and then fire in your in your um, in your sun, you know. But because this is you, because this is you, and then this is gonna be your person, and then this is gonna be your um, forest, what is it, sacred forest oracle. It's a little bit of advice, um, but we're just kind of giving you a lowdown on where you're at and what you need to do to move forward to kind of open up for your new love, the one that's coming at you, you know what I mean? And right now I feel like because you are so stable, I feel like you are, you're working on your money. You're, you're pretty much, you know, you, that's all you do. You work, 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 and you work some more. You know, I'm surprised you're not, that this is not a fire or a earth sign, earth sign reading. But we got Princess of Wands, so you're on the table, girl. Bye, y'all. This girl is on fire. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah. I'm doing it. Okay. You know what? Let's take it. I mean, I do have rebirth. Look at that. And then Empress, two pentacles, and one. Okay. Let's keep going because that was actually what we got in Cancers. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, water sign. Okay. But I do feel like you got this. This like passion, this drive, some something that you're doing um, is extremely abundant, very successful. Um, you possibly may have like two to three different income sources. I'm getting okay. Yeah, six of cuts. <sighs> Fire sign. Okay. Leo Aries Sag, I feel like you possibly may be in this stuck position where you're just working on your money all the time because you are thinking about a past person that you have love for. You know, you do have love for this person. Um, but you also know that there are secrets and Princess of Wands, there was the truth, which is what brought this tower down. Okay. And that's what put you in the Nine of Cups where you were single, successful, and single so i feel like you went through this death and this rebirth after finding out this truth and this transformation from this tower and then now you've got these secrets that you know you know maybe your past person doesn't even know that you know everything because you are the keeper of the secrets i feel like you do there might even be something that you don't know you know what i mean um but i feel like as a fire sign you kind of you found out what was going on and you got out of there and you know you took this transformation like road and you decided to start working on yourself and that's what you did you poured every aching moment into your work and then you think about them when you're not working possibly at night you know early in the morning switching hour usually if you're waking up in the middle of the night it's 
for a reason. You need to pray. Pray or meditate. And I'm telling you, drink some hot tea and it will help you. All right, girl. So you are fire. You're fire. Um, I feel like you just need to open up your heart chakra. You know, you need to be ready for this new love that's coming because you are, you know, abundant in your fire self and you're doing well. You're doing extremely well for yourself, fire sign. But I feel like you want love. You know, you want to have that passionate, you know, connection. And I mean, everybody does, but especially fire sign. So, okay, this is going to be who may be coming at you. Um, it's also chakras, so what you need to balance possibly if there's if anything what could be you know blocking you chakra wise. Oh, oh see the truth. I feel like you may need to speak the truth to somebody or somebody's coming to you with the truth. So you may be having somebody coming to tell you that they love you. Um, let's find out. If we, let's see if we can get a sign to come out. Divine, give us a sign. Divine, give us a sign. Ooh, or an element, heart chakra. See, your heart and your throat. You need to open up to the truth so that way when this person comes to you, you can speak your truth. But you need to heal your heart chakra and your throat chakra so that you can speak the truth and be able to express your feelings properly when this person comes towards you. You have to be able to be available for your new love. That way... You can take on this new adventure, this new passionate beginning, you know? Okay. Okay. What kind of sign? Who's coming at fire? Who is coming at fire? Who has passion for our fire sign? For single ladies. Ooh, girl. Okay, so we have element of fire. We have the sun, so possibly another Leo. So we've got water coming towards our water signs and possibly a fire sign coming towards our fire signs. So, and these are just your sun. I feel like your sun sign is going to be a fire sign. So he could be a Aries, Leo, or Sag because it says the sun and then the element of fire. So his sun sign is going to be a fire sign, but he's going to have Pisces in his chart. So he's going to be intuitive. I feel like just like you, I feel like you, are pretty smart when it comes to, you know, being, you know, very strategical about making sure things happen the way you want them. I mean, you're a Leo, you know, you are a lion, you tame the jungle, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like your person has Pisces, so they might be kind of not sure when they're coming towards you. They might be a little... I, and I don't mean to say it, but bitchy, you know, they might be kind of swim towards you and then swim away and then swim towards you and then swim away and then swim towards you and then swim away. Like, I feel like a Pisces, I feel like he might even be like a Aries, Leo, Sag, um, sun, and then a Pisces moon. So if he's a Pisces moon, he's extremely intuitive. So he's going to know he won't be able to like, there won't be, I feel like this relationship is not going to be built on unstable ground. It's going to be completely loyal and loving and honest and full of happiness and excitement. You know what I mean? You won't be a single lady for long. I'm telling you, you'll be a bride before you know it. Okay. So, oh, infinity. This is going to be your forever person. This is going to be the person that you are meant to be with. Okay, so let's go ahead and shake it up. The Sacred Forest. Now, we had multiple cards come out for water. Oh. But I was going to say, if we only have a couple. Oh, these are the same cards. Let's put these back. It's happiness. I will tell you, it's happiness. And it is miracles. So, I feel like just like the water sign, you definitely believe miracles. I feel like you know that you deserve happiness and love and prosperity and just good vibes and good times and I feel like you're going to get it. You've made your wish and it's coming. It's coming towards you. That's so weird that it would come out again. Okay. Let me mix them up again. <laughs> I just don't like doing them on the table because it's so loud. I need to get more pictures in here or something. Okay. Sacred Forest Oracle. Sacred Forest Oracle. Sacred Forest Oracle. For our fire signs. 
four fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. Ooh, there we go. Oh, okay. Air, spirit, knowledge. And then you have expansion, spirit, guardian of summer. So I'm thinking summertime. Possibly you may be, you know, it may be some time before you meet this person. But I feel like that gives you a good six months before you got this person coming towards you. And possibly another fire and Pisces. Fire sign and Pisces. It could be Pisces sun too as well with um, Leo in this chart. Oh, so if he's a water sign plus fire, oh, you're going to have the emotional stability that you're looking for, but you'll also have that passion too. So it's going to be good. Um, air spirit, knowledge. So, ooh, so since we got just this one, we're going to look it up. Oh, and it's number one too. So this is going to be the one that you have been waiting for. It's going to be the one that you are supposed to be with. Like, you know, I feel like fire signs, this is going to be really good. spirit knowledge um, as you stand in the center of the forest a subtle breeze um, lovingly touches your cheeks gentle just gentle gust rustle the leaves above as the spirit of the air approaches upon the boat of the light of the wind and in the um, in the in the quietude um, in the qu quiet in the quietude? I've never even heard of that word. Like, what? Okay, um, you sense the wind whispering messages um, to you from spirit. So I feel like you, I mean, with knowledge, I feel like for the most part, you kind of have an idea of who maybe this person is. Maybe, it, I mean, it's nobody you've been with before. Um, and I feel like this person might even, I mean, maybe they're in a commitment right now. And you're having to wait for this expansion for them to release whatever they have to say like focus and then purification and then stability yeah i feel like maybe they're working on themselves and so while you have this like intermission time you're going to be working on yourself as well because you know this person is coming towards you or you know maybe this person is about to be single as well um let's see okay um, you receive this card when you need to think things through. Um, this is not the time to be impulsive. Um, do not react in instinct, instinctively <laughs> to situations and people. Take um, into consideration all points of view. Um, do your research. Listen to others. Um, speak your truth. Take time to weigh the pros and cons of the situation. So I definitely feel like you are kind of what I mean you're really thinking about you know this new person coming at you I feel like you have transformed so much and you know so much truth that surrounds you that you're ready for somebody that's going to have passion and love for you and so you know that you're what you're worth you know what it is you already have that knowledge of where you stand and so I feel like by next summer, you know, when it's hot, very fire season, you know, very sun, when the sun is out, um, I feel like it's going to be full force and you possibly may be running into this person. You're going to be out and about when you find this person. You, you know, maybe like it's, uh, I'm kind of getting like, like a sports activity or something like frisbee golf you know what I mean is that weird <laughs> okay or like maybe you're like you're out walking a trail at a park or something and I feel like you come across this person this person is going to be and they're going to catch your eye and I feel like maybe you guys are going to stop and kind of chat for a second and you're going to exchange phone numbers yep 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 because you have the knowledge of like you're just you're just ready you're you know like I said you know what you're worth you have so much passion and drive and so you're kind of at this point where you're like if you take action on exactly what you want 
um, that you rush it, you take too much passion, too much, too much action on it without thinking, then that's when you kind of tend to fall through when it comes to relationships. And so I feel like that's why it was telling you, you know, you need to make sure you kind of take a step back, think about it. And that's why it's like a six month time frame. Because I feel like within six months, then you'll be fully aware of kind of where you stand. I feel like maybe you do have a little bit of transformation to go through. You may be finding out a little bit more truth that's going to help you finish transforming. And then so within six months, when this person comes around, you're going to be ready for it. Girl, you won't be single for long. That is amazing. I am signed. Do air. Let's do air. Air. Got air energy. Air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Single ladies. Single ladies. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Gemini. Oh, so it's starting to split. I feel like uh, hmm. I'm kind of getting that like maybe you had a relationship that you feel like kind of slipped through your hands. Like you lost an opportunity. I feel like you're kind of up in your head. Moment of spirit. Yeah, you need to ground yourself. Ground yourself, air signs. Okay. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Aquarius Libra Gemini. So it's pre shuffle anyway. <laughs> Chris, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to shuffle this a little bit more. Okay. All right. Air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is going to be your single ladies, single ladies, um, single ladies reading. <laughs> so what I did is I decided to do a reading for the ladies out there who are having a hard time with their love path and they're wanting, you know, a little bit of direction and kind of an idea of who might be coming at you. And so uh, we're going to do timestamps below, of course, check that out. And, um, you know, if you want to watch the whole video, even better. Um, but we are going to do Sacred Forest Oracle, which has been coming out really good for the water. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands. You might be having conflict that's coming to an end with the person after going through some healing time. But you're going to find out. Oh, the Magician, what you manifested about being out in the cold and growing your pentacles. Yeah, you're abundant. You might be in your head about this past love that you just got out of. I feel like you just got out of something. Air signs. You might not quite be ready for a new relationship. I feel like as an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, if you're a single lady, I feel like you possibly may need to do some more healing. Just a little bit. I'm just kind of getting that. Okay, let's see what we can't get, though. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we, so this is going to be you. That's going to be your person and then some Oracle. Some Oracle. And, oh, that was horrible. That was a horrible, horrible shuffle. Okay. All right. That's better. Two for the universe. I feel like a cycle has ended. You walked away because judgment came upon a situation. Three of swords, possibly with the pentacles. King of Pentacles, but you're about to get your son. You're going to get your son, and possibly with a Leo sign. Leo, Aries. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ace of Cups. The King of Swords. Oh, my goodness. You may have multiple people coming at you. This is only supposed to be you, but I almost got all of your whole entire reading out of here. I feel like you just came out of a situation that came, that brought you truth and communication. 
I feel like you possibly have had a heartbreak with the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That was judgment that you walked away from because it was the end of a cycle. And so you're kind of in this, you're kind of in your head, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like you are not quite sure where to go from here. I feel like you just know you're leaving. You know what I mean? I feel like you just left the situation, so you just became single. I feel like you just walked away. Maybe you just walked away where the situation just ended. You know, there's um, some kind of ending that just happened. But let's get your person. Let's see. Okay. So after you heal, I feel like you're going to have some healing time. You're going to need some healing time. Let's get a time frame. Let's flip the deck. Time frame. Ace of Swords, the truth. Time frame. Oh, I mean, God. I mean, with that one, with that one sword, I mean, it's the Ace of Swords. It's the truth. I mean, it could possibly be here now and you've received it. Your person might be right around the corner, like literally right in your energy. But I'm kind of getting January, the first of the year. By the time the first of the year comes around, you're going to be running into somebody. Somebody that could be your potential forever soulmate. So if you are kind of coming out of a situation that was already kind of done, so there was no emotion to it, which is why there was you know, this walking away, I feel like you, know, you need to make sure that you're completely healed before the first of the year. Because by the time the first of the year comes, um, you know, you, the person you're supposed to be with is going to be around you. So it's going to be, it's going to be a lot sooner than you think it is. I feel like, okay. All right. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Who's coming at our Aquarius Libra Gemini? Heart chakra. Yes. Aquarius Libra Gemini, you need to heal your heart. I don't think anything's coming at you until you heal yourself. And that's the truth. You you're you're fresh out of this this heartbreak, I feel like. Yeah, third eye chakra. You're opening up to spirit right now. If you do win, you do have your person, it could be a Sun sign Sagittarius. So that'll be your person. Throat chakra, the truth. So you need to be either you need to either be able to be ready to tell this person that you're not ready for a relationship and that you need to take it slow. Um, but I feel like you are opening up to spirit right now because you need to meditate. You need to meditate your third eye chakra. You need to meditate your heart chakra for sure, but possibly just an overall aura cleanse. I feel like you might need to cleanse your energy from walking away from this. You need to cleanse yourself and then start telling yourself the truth and doing what you need to do to get yourself back to who you are. Back to spirit, you know, back to your authentic self. So. All right, yeah, but I feel like when your person does come around, it's going to be Sun Sign Sagittarius. Sun Sign Sagittarius. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Mm. Oh, Aries. So maybe an Aries too. So definitely fire. You're going to have a fire sign. It's going to be very passionate. Very passionate Aquarius Libra Gemini. Yeah, I feel like you don't know this person. It's going to be brand new love. Brand new. Brand new. Oh, fire. Air signs. You have a Sagittarius coming at you. Okay? I just want you to know that. And the sun. It's going to be during the day. You're going to meet them during the day. It's not going to be like at a bar or anything. You're going to probably meet them at work, I'm guessing, because you work extremely hard. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're going to meet them somewhere, somewhere during the day. You're going to be out running around. Maybe you're going to be like at the grocery store, just like not even expecting it. 
and you're gonna run into somebody and you're gonna be like talking over potatoes <laughs> or something, you know? <laughs> okay, all right, air signs. Let's get some, oh, that was fast. Refuge, oh, again, and miracles. Why are those cards coming out? It's so weird. They've come out all three readings so far. I just have uh, Earth left after you guys. Okay, let's do Sacred Forest Oracle for our air signs. Sacred Forest Oracle for our air signs. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. I had to adjust my own. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sacred Forest Oracle. Sacred Forest Oracle. Sacred Forest Oracle. Oh. Yeah. Uncertainty. You might, yeah, renewal. Activation. Acceptance. Oof. Transcending. Family. Stillness. Okay. And stillness. We'll pull that one too. Oh, and Lord. Retreat. Okay. So. You're taking time to heal yourself, and you and, and as such you should. So you should. You need to heal yourself because of all of this change that's just happened, and you're kind of in this uncertain kind of mode of like where to go, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, all the whole shebang. So you need to clear your energy. You need to meditate and stay focused. Okay. You need to listen and pray to spirit. Stay still, okay, because you're transcending. You need to take this time to have family that's going to help you and support you because you're in this acceptance mode of realizing your reality, okay? You have activation and renewal. So I feel like you're definitely taking this, like you're going through a whole entire brand new, cycle you're starting something brand spanking new and you're on your own and you're about to go on this adventure and i feel like you have to do this healing you have to know that you have to trust into the divine and surrender and know that your love the one that you deserve is on the way because if you believe in the uncertainty and you trust in the divine that's when he's going to deliver it to you and it's going to be after winter after you have time to heal after you have time to be with family through the holidays, I feel like you're going to be healing and then you're going to have this acceptance. You're just going to be at this point where like you're done, you're ready. And then by spring, you're going to be feeling brand new. It's going to be brand new leaves, brand new flowers, brand new grass, brand new, brand new you. It's going to be a brand new year. And I feel like by spring, you're going to be back to yourself. And then I feel like by summer, I feel like you may possibly, you're going to be with, like, with somebody, you know, couple. But I definitely feel like you have this transcending energy. You're, you're moving towards your happiness. But I feel like you're going to meet this person possibly at the first of the year. So you need to heal yourself. So you're going to meet them. You're going to be with them. It won't, t it won't be until probably summer. I'm thinking summer or next fall. But I think you guys will have time to kind of grow and you're going to be completely honest with them and you're going to be, you know, very much cut straight through the BS. You know, it's going to be extremely passionate and you're going to have a lot of fun through the summer, you know, and then come fall, I think you guys will decide to still be together and then it's going to build into something. So I feel like then maybe even next Christmas, you may be having a family. A brand new, brand new family by next Christmas. All right, air signs, air signs. That was good. That was good. I liked it. That was different. It was different from the other three or the other two. So that was that was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay, so let's get some earth, some earth energy. Some are single ladies, earth, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth signs. Oh, the ladies have been coming out all night. They're trying to take over the show. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. Okay. Patience. Refuge. Miracles. Happiness. What is going on? This is 
gotta be for me. I'm not gonna lie. I might be claiming this just now. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Oh, that song. <laughs> I feel like if you have patience, miracles are coming. Your happiness is on the way. I feel like for a lot of single people, um, people are getting out of toxic relationships and they're ready to play. They're really ready to have that playfulness, that excitement, you know. Very, very good. Very good. Good energy. Very, very good energy. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. So this is going to be for her sign. This is your, going to be your person. Okay, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. All right. Okay. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Okay, Earth Signs, you are last but not least. So I have decided to do a reading for um, all of the elements uh, for single ladies. Um, ladies who have been the bridesmaid but never the bride. Um, the ladies who are having a little bit of a rocky love path. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're single and you're ready for new love. Okay. Um, you are a grounded sign. You're earth signs. You're very all about, you know, your stability and your pentacles and making sure that, you know, everybody's taken care of and, you know, everything is squared away, finances and everything's taken care of. So I feel like that is something that's extremely, you know, important to you. So this is going to be you and then this is going to be the person coming at you. And then we've got some sacred forced oracle. So let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh, we got justice and eight of wands. So you possibly may have just got communication about, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like you might have just gotten out of a, out of a marriage. <laughs> I just, I kind of just got that for air signs. Um, but I feel like you've already been out of your divorce. I feel like it's been a while, yes. King of Swords, the truth, communication. You got the communication and the truth about something. And so I feel like possibly you might have Queen of Pentacles. You're on the table. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. Yeah, justice. Okay, so you got justice about truth. Possibly truth about something. Possibly about juggling. Um, but I feel like you're kind of in this transformation and you hold the truth. You may have, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your chart. Um, but as queen of pentacles, you are very stable. You're, you know, you're very abundant. You have worked extremely hard for what you have. And I feel like you hold the truth and you hold it high and you've been through a lot of transformation, a lot of things that have kind of broke you down so that you had to build yourself back up. So your character is extremely strong, you know? And I feel like with these three birds, I feel like you've had commun communication of some kind recently about some kind of truth um, that brought you justice. Um, something that you might have been juggling that was kind of up in your head. Um, but I feel like it might have been about somebody that you might have been interested in. And so it kind of brought you the truth. And so now you're kind of making that decision to kind of not go after this person. I feel like, you know, you're like, no, I'd rather be single. I'm not going to take my chances on red flags. You know what I mean? Um, so I think, I feel like that's where you're at. You're just like you, anybody who comes at you better have the truth and justice already in their hand, you know, before they even have love. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're looking for a friend before you are a lover. So that's just kind of what I'm getting for some reason. That's a strong earth sign. I feel very grounded, very, st ooh, Pisces. Um, very stable, very, yeah, I can feel your energy. You're very, 
and you hold your ground, which is amazing. Like as the Queen of Pentacles, you possibly have a child, you may be a single mom. And so you work very, very hard to make sure that um, everything's taken care of if for you and your kids. You know, if you have more than one, you may have three, three kids. So, but you're, you're ready for change. I feel like you possibly, you could be ready for this new love. You know, that, sh that is on its way, on its way. But I feel like you've just gotten clarity about something that kind of, you know, you're like, yay. Like maybe you've just kind of deleted your online account, like your dating account. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're like, yeah, you know, I think I'm good. Like if I run into somebody, then, then it's meant to be. I feel like that's kind of where you're at right now. Okay, let's see. Who's coming at our, ooh, oh, wow. So we have an element of earth and then we have solar plexus and then we have earth again. So I feel like you are extremely grounded, but I also feel like you are, like I said, the solar plexus. I mean, this is creativity. This is what you do during the day. This is your, you know, your, your, your passion, your, what ignites you, you know what I mean? And I feel like you, and with this earth, you've got a lot of earth in your chart. So I feel like right now you're just being completely stable on your own at this point. Let's see if, oh yeah, so root chakra. You're just, you're trying to balance out, right? At this point, you want to make sure that nothing's going to disrupt your, your stability. You know what I mean? I feel like that's where you're at right now. Okay, let's see. All right, let's get a sign for our earth signs. Let's get a sign for our earth signs. A sign for our our earth signs. Ooh. Oh, infinity. Oh, God. Okay. So, ooh. Oh, that was three. Okay. You have a water sign coming at you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, oh, excuse me. Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. So possibly an air sign, possibly another fire sign. They could have fire and air in the chart, but I feel like earth sign. I feel like you have a cancer Pisces sun sign coming at you. So they're going to either have cancer or Pisces in their sun, but I feel like they have Gemini and earth in their chart. So they're going to be extremely stable, just like you. They're going to be focused on the same exact goals as you are. You know, they're going to want to have drive and passion. And this is going to be your forever person, eternity. This is somebody that, you know, that you are meant to be with. Like this is... This is it, or sign, this is it. Yeah, oh, Scorpio on the bottom of your deck. You are, you got a water sign coming at you. It's very, very clear. I feel like this earth, this earth energy is you. Yeah, I mean, they might have earth and air in their chart, but I definitely feel like they're a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Cause you've got literally all three of them now. Cause Scorpio was on the bottom. Holy macaroni. So meditate that passion and the drive and keep focusing on yourself, I feel like, and you're going to be on the right direction to meeting this person, the person you're supposed to be running into. You know what I mean? Because um, it's justice. You're going to get your equal give and take. All right, let's get you some sacred forest. Sacred forest. Sacred forest. Sacred forest. <laughs> For earth signs. Sing the ladies earth signs. Oh my god, that was so much. The truth. That's the one that flipped over. I'm not taking this whole entire mess though. This is craziness. I feel like, like and all of these just came, they went flying out. So, oh. Another one and another one. Yeah, okay, the truth. Raven spirit. So I definitely feel like you are, you know the truth. You kind of know where you stand as a single successful, you know, possibly mom. Um, I feel like you, um, you expect a certain level of respect and stability from your person before they even enter into your energy, you know. And that's the truth. <laughs> um, number 32 may be significant, maybe number five. 
maybe your person's birthday is the fifth or they're born in the fifth month. Um, now that is May, so that possibly could be when you meet your person as well. Or is when you discover this truth about maybe somebody who has feelings for you, you know, acceptance. We got that in the last one too. Energy and then strength. So we have fire spirit, and then we have ancient oak spirit for strength. So I definitely feel like you have this inner, like, can't nobody hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. Like, <laughs> like I feel like this energy from you, you know what I mean? Like you just, you got this drive. I'm just going to keep going. Like it doesn't matter. And if somebody comes up on your path and they're amazing and they can keep up, then that's the person for you. I feel like, and I feel like you were at this acceptance of being strong on your own. Like you have this inner strength that drives you and you know what I mean? And I think that's why you're so stable, you know, as an earth sign and then having drive and passion to keep that stability. It's a lot of work, you know, especially if you are a single mom. So fire signs. Very nice. That was good. That was good. Single ladies, single ladies, all the single ladies. So, okay. I think that is going to be a wrap. About oh, oh, the songs okay. So, single ladies, we've got Jewel, you were went, you were meant for me, okay. And then I've got let's see, so a lot of Rihanna came up. So, I've got um, Needed Me by Riri, you know, and then that new song of Play It, I Get It, something Play It, I Get It. I think it's um, not Doja Cat, it's who is that? Whoever sings that song, put it in the comments for me. I forget, I don't know who it is. Um, let's see. Where have you been all my life for Riri? Um, Rude Boy by Riri. <laughs> um, and then Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. I love that song. Oh, it's so good. And then um, let's see. I've got, oh, My Best Friend's Wedding. That's the movie that I channeled. Um, but I've got, let's see. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, um, me and you by Cassie. So, and it, and in that, in that song, she literally says making a move. So I feel like if you do have somebody that you have your eye on, I feel like you, no matter your, your element, I feel like, or your sign, I feel like you are getting that excitement to maybe even make that forward movement. And once you make that movement, it's kind of up to them. And if not, then you know, you're on your merry way. You know what I mean? I feel like you're, you know, your worth and you're waiting for the person that is worth waiting for, you know? Okay. Let's see. Oh, and rumors by Lizzo. <laughs> oh God. That was embarrassing. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, okay. So I think, I think, like I said, I think when it comes to all of this, energy change. I feel like there's a lot of ladies that are just kind of the, you are ready. You're ready for the new, you're ready for the new love. You're ready for excitement. And I feel like you're going to take that step to kind of move forward. You know what I mean? And I feel like once you do that, once you kind of completely healed yourself and you go to take that forward movement, you know, knowing that you deserve happiness and all of that, you know, excitement and stuff, just all of the new adrenaline that comes with new love and all of that. I feel like you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy that you waited for something that you, you know, you were worth, you know what I mean? So, okay. All right, ladies, 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 ladies. I'm so glad you hung out with me and joined me. Um, if you liked this video, like and the subscribe button and the share and the comments and um, I think I might be doing single ladies readings more often <sighs> oh god <laughs> um, so yeah okay so um, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button and check out the other videos I will see you later bye ladies bye